by your feet. Sit comfortably on your chair, making sure, again, as I mentioned earlier, have your feet firmly on the ground. So if you need to scoot a little forward on your chair to get your feet on the ground, go ahead and do that. And then have your hands on your thighs. You can have your feet together or feet apart about hip width distance, whichever is fine. And let's take a moment here to close our eyes and take a breath in and out through the nose. Just getting ourselves started, getting ourselves grounded and focused. Taking a couple of breaths here, in and out. Let go of all the those thoughts about COVID-19, pneumonia, getting sick, all those worries. For now, you're here, you're safe, you're healthy. Let's focus on that. And we're doing this so that we can keep healthy as well. Try to be present in the moment here for now. Keeping your awareness, your attention to what's going on at this moment. Letting everything else fall away. Just, just taking two more breaths here. And if you'd like to set an intention for your practice this morning, go ahead. Taking one more. And then if you have your eyes open, uh, closed rather, open them now. And we're going to start stretching, starting with our necks. So just tilt your head over towards your left. Tilt your left ear over towards your left shoulder. So I'm doing the same side as you are. So just listen to my feet. So your ear comes close to the shoulder. Feel that stretch along the right side of your neck. And if you want, you can also gently place your hand on top of your ear so that you can bring that ear close. You can bring your left ear close to your left shoulder. And gently release. Let's do the other side. Bring the right ear close to the right shoulder this time. So now this time, feel the stretch along the left side of your neck. And again, if you want to intensify that stretch here, you can place that hand on top of your left ear. And gently bring your head closer to the shoulder. And then just gently release again. And this time, tilt your head down so your chin is close to the chest. Feeling the stretch on the back of the neck. And if you want, again, to increase a little bit of pressure, interlace your fingers on the back of your head, adding weight so that your chin comes closer to your chest even more. And then gently release the hands back to the thighs, gaze forward. And then on your next breath, reach your arms up, look up. And exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, reach the arms up again. Feel the sides of the body lengthen. And exhale, arms reach down. Coming into a side stretch, inhale, reach your arms up. Hold on to your right wrist with the left hand. Stretch this and then as you exhale, bring that right arm over towards your left side. And then look at your right shoulder here, making sure your right shoulder isn't pointing down like this. So bring that right shoulder back so your chest is open facing the front. And feel that nice stretch along the right side. Gently come back to center, switching sides, holding onto your left wrist with the right hand. Stretch up, exhale. Lean over towards your right. This time, feeling the stretch along the left side body, making sure your left hip is still pressing onto your 
Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, arms down. Take a breath here, and we'll do a seated twist. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, twist to the right. So your left hand rests on top of your right knee. Your other hand will hold onto the back of your chair. Suck the belly in, lift the chest, lengthen. And then exhale, twist to the right. Look back your right shoulder. One more breath in your twist. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. And exhale, twist to the opposite side. This time, right hand to the left knee. Left hand holding onto the back of your chair. Lift the chest, lengthen, and then exhale, twist. Taking one more breath here. Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. And then as you exhale this time, hinge through the hips and fold forward. Allow your hands to reach the floor or maybe onto your chin, whichever part. And one word of breath at a time, you're going to curl up. Allow your hands to slide up your shins, your knees, your thighs, and come into standing, uh, sitting rather, sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting used to doing this. Yeah. From here, we're going to open up the shoulders with your ego arms. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, bring the right arm under the left. So you're going to have your left elbow on top of the right. Option one, hold onto opposite shoulders. Option two, bring the backs of the hands together. Option three, if you can, cross at the wrists, interlace your fingers, maybe even pray your hands. So see what option you can for game. Option one, option two, option three. Okay. Once you have your variation, See if you can lift the elbows up so that your elbows are in line with your shoulders. So I'm going to show you the side view version of it. So you'll start to feel the stretch between the shoulder blades. And if you want to add a bit of chest opener, as you inhale, lengthen the spine, lift the chest. Lift the elbows up and look up. Two more breaths here. I'll adjust and show you the side view version. Inhale, come back to center. And then uncross the arms to reach them up. This time, let's do the opposite side. Exhale, left arm this time under the right. So take your same modification. Left elbow under the right. Option one, hold on to the shoulders. Option two, backs of the hands together. Option three, cross at the wrists again. So once you have your variation, the elbows up. Lining it up with the shoulders. And if you want to add that chest opener again, inhale, lengthen, lift the chest up. Whoop. Here in your chest opener, lift the chest up, look up, elbows up. I need to take the microphone here. Last breath here. And slowly come back to center and cross the arms. Reach your arms up one more time. And exhale, release. And from here, we're going to 
start moving our lower body as well. First up is on your chair. So let's start with one side. So step your right foot to the side. Point your right toes towards the right side. Right knee on top of the right heel. And then start to move that left foot all the way towards the left side. To the left leg. Your left toes pointing forward. Okay. So you may have to adjust and sit more towards the edge of your chair here. Although if you need a bit of support, you can always sit your entire hips down onto the chair as well. So option one, which is easier, is to stay here. Option two, to challenge your balance a bit, is to sit towards the edge of, edge of your chair. So find your option, adjust your legs, and once you have your legs set up, just reach your arms up parallel to the floor, and then look towards your right fingertips. Make sure your arms are strong, so arms parallel to the floor. Activate the arms as well. So imagine you're bringing your arms back towards your shoulder sockets. Contract your biceps and triceps, all those arm muscles there. And then place your hands on your hips. We're going to do the other side. So adjust this time. Left knee on top of the left heel, left knee bent, left toes pointing to the left side. Right leg straightens with the right toes pointing towards the front. Coming into your warrior two on the opposite side. Arms up parallel to the floor, look towards your left fingers. Make sure your upper body is stacked on top of your hips so you're not leaning your body forward or back too much here. So imagine there's equal energy, left hand reaching forward, right hand reaching back. So because of that equal amount of energy, your body stays in the center. Taking one more breath. And then bring your hands back to your hips. And bring your feet back to the center. Hands on the thighs, take a breath here. Since we've warmed up your hips and legs a bit, we're going to come into something called goddess, which is going to be a bit of a challenge for your legs. So once again, two options. If you want to add support, you can just stay sitting on the chair like you did in your warrior two. Or if you want to challenge yourself, especially for those who have been doing yoga for a while, maybe sit on the edge of your chair. And this time, both knees stack on top of the heels, toes pointing in opposite directions. So you're in kind of a squat, okay? So this is your goddess pose. For the first two breaths, just place your hands on your knees, getting your body used to this position. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. And we're going to add a twist. On after your second breath. So we're going to twist now. Hands on your thighs. As you exhale, twist towards your left. Bring the right shoulder down. Lean the left shoulder back. Look past your left shoulder. And then you're going to come back to center and we'll twist to the opposite side. As you exhale, twist to the right. Left shoulder reaching down. Right shoulder leaning back. Look back to your left, right shoulder. Come back to center again. And bring your feet together. Back to center. How was that for you guys? All right, from here, we're going to get off our chair for a bit. We'll still be using the chair for support for the next two poses. So for the first pose, it's going to give a stretch here on your hip flexor, your groin area. Okay, so stand up, stand on your, on the left side of your chair. 
Hold on to the back of the chair with the right hand. Step the right foot on top of the chair. Okay. And wiggle that left foot back until you can kind of come into a lunge position where you feel the stretch here. <clears throat> if you want, so this is option one, which is a little easier. Your left foot is flat on the floor. If you want to challenge your balance here, wiggle that left foot back even more, lift the left heel up. So imagine you're doing your high lunge. Option one, keep the right hand holding onto the chair. Left hand can be on the left hip. Option two, reach your left hand up. Option three, if you want, maybe even right hand also reaches up. So you don't have the support of the back of the chair. And slowly bring that left foot back into center, right foot steps down. And let's do the opposite side. So stand onto the other side of your chair. Hold onto the back with the left hand. Step your left foot onto the chair. And wiggle that right foot back until you find that lunge, getting the stretch here on the right hip flexor this time. So option one again, back entire foot flat on the floor. Option two, wiggle the right foot back even more, lift the left right heel up. Option one, left hand stays on the back of the chair, right hand to the right hip. Option two, reach the right arm up. Option three, maybe even reach the left arm up. So find your option again. See what you can do for today, where you get a bit of a challenge, but also not forcing your body too much. Hands onto the chair, wiggle the right foot in, step the left foot down, okay? Coming into a balancing pose, your tree pose. So stand on the right side of your chair, holding onto the back with your left hand. Lift up the right foot. Okay, option two, rest your foot against your ankle. Option two, against your shin. Option three, against your inner thigh. So find your option here. Option one, two, three. Make sure you're avoiding the knee here. Knee pointing out to the side, hips facing forward. Option one, stay here, left hand holding onto the back of your chair. Hold right hand onto the right hip. Option two, into a half prayer. Option three, reach your right arm up. Taking one more breath. And release. Point your right knee forward. Then rest the right foot down to the floor. And let's do the opposite side. So stand onto the opposite side of your chair. Hold onto the back with the right hand. Pick up the left foot. Find the same option as you had earlier. Against your ankle, shin, or thigh. So choose your option. Left knee pointing over towards the left side. Hips facing forward. Option one is to stay here. Left hand to the hip. Right hand still resting on the back of the chair. Option two, into your half prayer. Option three, reach the left arm up. Two more breaths. And release, first left hand back to your left hip, point your left knee forward, left foot down. And we're going to take a seat, a seat again. Find your seat. We're going to come into a seated pigeon. So we're going to feel the stretch here on our glutes out and outer hip area. 
So first, pick up your right foot, place your right ankle on top of your left knee. Okay. And then flex your right foot. So as if you're stepping your foot against a wall on the left side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lean forward. You can push your hands against your heel and your knee, adding pressure to get a deeper stretch. Don't forget to breathe. You're still breathing through the nose, in and out. And slowly come back. Switching sides, left ankle on top of the right knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Shoulders still relax, away from the ears. Relax the neck. Relax the shoulders. Once again, you can push your hands against the knee. Adding pressure to get a deeper stretch there. And slowly come back up to center. Feet down onto the floor. We're going to stretch the back of your legs this time. So option one is to keep your left hand on, the, uh, rather left foot on the floor. So you're just going to straighten the left leg and point your left toes up. Let me adjust so you can see it better. And you're going, you're going to start to feel the stretch here along the back of your left leg. Activate the left leg. So imagine you're lifting your kneecap up towards your hip. You're contracting your left side muscle. Point your left toes up or maybe even back towards your face. So you start to feel that stretch there on the back of your left side. Maybe even also on the calf. And for some, maybe this is fine. Or for those who are quite flexible like me, if you want, you can hold onto your left foot Extend the left leg forward to get a deeper stretch. Maybe even bringing that left leg closer towards your chest even more. One more breath. If your leg is up like mine, gently bend the knee first, release the left foot down. If you have your left leg extended on the floor, just bend the knee. Now let's do the other side. Extend the right leg forward and point your right toes up towards the ceiling or maybe even back towards your face. Start to feel the stretch around the back of the right leg. Option one is to stay here. Option two, especially for bendy people like me, bend the right knee, hold on to the right foot with the hand, extend the right leg forward. Make sure your shoulders are still square, right shoulder plus in. And then maybe even bring that right leg closer up towards your chest to get a deeper stretch. Last breath here. If you have your leg up, bend the knee first, rest the right foot down. And then if you have your right leg extended, just bring the right foot in, bend the right knee. Stay here one breath, sitting up tall, shoulders relax away from the ears. So actually that's it for today. That's already 24 minutes if you guys can believe it. So before we move on though, we're going to stay still here for about one minute or so just to give you time to rest. So maybe just Keep sitting on your chair, hands on your thighs. Close your eyes. Stay in and out through the nose. Noticing the body, noticing how it feels. Hopefully you feel better now when you started. Maybe you feel a bit more open. Maybe you Release some of the tightness or soreness in the body. Notice the heartbeat. Notice your breath. Take a few 
And then, and now I want you to rub your hands together, rub them, rub them fast, far, generate warmth, generate heat. And then press the palms onto the eyes. And allow the hands to slide down your neck, your chest, your belly, onto your thighs. Allow your hands to rest back onto your thighs. And gently open the eyes. And welcome back. Hello.